Hello guys and welcome to our game week 16 preview, your score in this game week will decide whether you qualify for the fantasy cup or not, so pay close attention to our tips. Starting with some team stats and players facts. Arsenal won both Premier League meetings with Huddersfield Town last season, 5 at home, 1-0 away, and are unbeaten in 10 matches against them in all competitions. Huddersfield have lost 8 of their last 9 top flight matches against Arsenal, failing to score in each defeat. Since Leicester returned to the top flight in 14-15, Premier League matches between the Foxes and Spurs have produced 34 goals. Only meetings between Arsenal and Liverpool have had more in that time, with 38. Both teams have scored in all 6 Premier League meetings between Newcastle and Wolves. It's the most played fixture in the competition without clean sheet. Did you know that? Leroy Sané has contributed a goal or an assist in his last 8 Premier League starts this season, striking 6 times and assisting further 5 goals. Jamie Vardy has scored 4 goals and assisted 3 in his last 7 Premier League appearances against Spurs. Harry Kane has scored 13 goals in 11 appearances against Leicester in all competitions, more than against any other opponent. He's had a hand in 8 goals in his last 3 Premier League appearances against the Foxes, striking 7 times and contributing an assist. Concerning clean sheets odds, Everton, Arsenal, Brighton and Burnley have the best clean sheets odds in this game week. Feel free to check out the rest of the list for the odds of the other teams. Our budget picks for game week 16 are Lucas Dean, in good attacking form having provided 18 key passes in the last 7 fixtures only, 5 more than playmaker Gilfie Sigurdsson. A favorable run of fixtures is upcoming, with only 2 games out of 11 being against the famous top 6 oppositions. Only 3 teams scored less away goals from home than Everton's opponent Newcastle. Lucas Torreira, being involved in 4 goals so far is a very solid record for a defensive midfielder at at such a price. Among these 4 goals, Lucas Torreira has provided 3 assists which is more than the registered assists by Mesut Ozil and Henrik Mkhitaryan combined. Only 3 sides conceded more goals on the road compared to opponents Huddersfield with 16 goals. Marcus Rashford With teammate Romelu Lukaku inspiring, Marcus Rashford has started 6 out of the last 8 games for the Red Devils and is likely to remain in the starting lineup as things stand. Despite featuring for just 670 minutes, he has scored 2 goals and provided 3 assists in this term. Opponents Fulham have the worst defensive record in the league, conceding 20 goals in 8 travels. While our differential picks are our first pick this week is the Korean superstar Son. It's getting hard to predict which players will start and which players will be rotated, but when Son is giving a run of starts, he normally delivers. He has hit double figures with goals in his last two seasons in the Premier League, with 12 and 14 goals scored respectively. The Spurs also have juicy fixtures coming up soon, which is great opportunity for Son. He's been in good form recently with two goals and two assists in the last five game weeks, despite only starting three. Next we have Lacazette. He hasn't been starting starting recently but I think it's all about being injured. He played 9 games in a row before his groin injury and has scored and assisted in both his last 2 games, so don't be surprised to see him start in the next game for the Huddersfield. In the last 5 game weeks he has had 3 goals, the same as Aubameyang, 4 shots on target, 1 less than Aubameyang, despite playing less. The Gunners have a great run of fixtures coming up. Last but not least we have Lucas from West Ham, with Arnatovic out for a month, maybe Perez will finally get the opportunity he deserves. Two goals in the last game when he came on as a sub versus Cardiff should see him rewarded with a start against Palace. After that West Ham will play another bunch of easier fixtures like Fulham and Southampton away. Our favorite captain picks for game week 16 are The obvious pick is Aubameyang playing Huddersfield home, another good pick is Kane playing Leicester away, but our punt pick is Richarlison playing Watford home. According to our Twitter poll, 55% of managers are captaining Oba, while 30% prefer Kane. The last part of this preview, frequently asked questions. Best Arnatovic replacements Now that we know Arnatovic is expected to miss at least 5 games, a replacement is necessary. This will depend on your budget, in no particular order. Kane, Aguero, Aubameyang and Lacazette are the only premier options in my opinion, however, chances are that you don't have the budget to transfer these players in, without restructuring your squad and probably taking hits. With that in mind, let's look at options that are more or less the same price as the Austrian. The obvious choices are Wilson, Murray, Mitrovic and Jimenez. Other players who may be worth considering are Zaha, Rashford, Rondon and Ings. Choose based on your budget and the rest of your squad. 
Aubameyang vs Huddersfield, is he worth a minus 4 transfer? It's always hard to say if a player is worth taking a hit, if you're only getting them for one week then the hit is probably not worth it, however the Gabon international is so far the top scorer in the Premier League and the top scoring forward in FPL, with Huddersfield having already conceded 16 away goals so far this season away from home and Aubameyang being in form, I think it's a risk worth taking. The Gunners have a nice run of fixtures coming up where you would expect him to be able to score in all of these games. With Arsenal already qualified from their Europa League group, he's got the chance to get rested and will probably feature in all of these 5 games even if he doesn't start. Let's not forget that he has scored 4 of his 10 goals when coming on as a substitute, so definitely worth the hit in my opinion. Best West Ham option now that Arnie has been ruled out. West Ham as we know have a nice run of fixtures in December and I think it's a good idea to get one of their attacking options in. Philippi Anderson is West Ham's highest points scorer so far this season and he has already scored 5 goals and registered 1 assist. It's not grass, the squad has started 6 of the last 7 matches and has recorded 3 assists in the last 2 games. He takes most of the hammer set pieces and he could be a really good differential as he's only owned by 0.4% of FPL managers. I think he's got great potential to offer more assists throughout December. Shisharito. He could be the man to carry the goal scoring threat in the absence of Erna. I do however feel that there are better forwards out there that are slightly more expensive though. Lucas Perez. He is yet to start a game in the Premier League but he did score twice when he came on to replace the injured Arnautovic. If he can get a run of regular starts, he may reward you. Is it time to sell Alonso and his Chelsea teammates after their recent form and the head of the Man City match? The last time FPL managers were getting itchy feet with Alonso after game week 9 was because he had only scored 17 points in the previous 5 game weeks. He then went on to score 32 points over the next 5 game weeks. In my opinion, now is not the time to get rid of the Spaniard. Yes, Chelsea play City at Stamford Bridge this weekend, which doesn't offer much potential for returns, but he's still the highest point scoring defender in the game. After the City game, the Blues have a run of 6 games where they don't face any of the top teams. Along with Alonso, I think Rudiger and David Luiz will offer good value for points over this period. In terms of attacking players, Hazard at 11 mil hasn't scored since game week 8. He definitely seems to be out of form, with City options Sterling and Sané scoring points for fun and Tottenham Eriksen and Ali looking at some nice fixtures, I think that these are better options. If anybody from your team should be sacrificed to fund Aubameyang or Kane, then Hazard is looking like the best option. If you have any of William, Giroud or Morata, then these may also have to go. We have come to the end of this video, check out our Facebook, Twitter and website for daily updates. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like our content. Thank you guys for watching and good luck to all.